The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and p Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. A big hello from everyone here in Jaipur. Namaste. Namaste. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Not Carol, it's Becky. Um, how are you all today? I hope you're having an absolutely lovely time. I hope everyone's recovered from the birthday, but you're ready for more super duper treats galore. I've got that sapphire coming up. It's going to be under £25 a strand. I've got that other brand new strand for under a tenner for you. I've got the Dremel. I've got not a bead. I have got wire galore in different colours. <laughs> um, I have got the wax wire comb. I have got tools galore, gemstones galore. And I've got some Heliodore. Oh, um, didn't even mean to wind that then. Um, I've got so much, including the wonderful Janet. How are you today, Janet? Yeah, good. I'm good. Janet, give us a little bit of a son he son of what to expect for your first designer inspiration. Um, it's twisted um, and very pretty, I think. Mm. Very pretty. I totally, totally agree with this. Now, today, what we're going to do is we are going to bring oh she's like that a little little sneaky peek then um <laughs> we are going to bring to you today the gemstones and the wire and findings as separate bundles now the reason we do that is because you might already have some colored wire at home that you're thinking of working out with but you see these gemstones and you think oh i've not got a drop that's fasted i've not got ovals and i've not got fasted rounds either at the moment i need to top up on those so you can just get those if you wish or you might have some gemstones that you're thinking in mind but you think i really want to get my hands on that pink wire just to add a little pop and those wonderful findings so you can buy those two separately from us today i have got so many treats i've just had a little look in my box i love your challenge that we'll be launching for you in a little bit also so what do you want to do first scotty mcgee the gemstones first for this let me show you this stunning pyrite i adore the pink of this pyrite beautiful isn't it really really delicate charming almost a kind of dusky pink you've got going into this haven't you it is salmony you're right, it is a little bit. Now, Janet, yeah. how are these to work with? They were really lovely. Because really, I noticed really the drill hole's quite good on they them, are actually. actually. Yeah, I mean, we used to, um, 0.4 um, to sort of wrap them onto the pendant that we're going to do. Um, but yeah, they were the, the drill holes are really generous on them. And they're you, really, really pretty. You've got a uh, 100 carats worth of this pie, right? And it is such a beautiful effect. You've got that dash of pink, almost like kiss of pink, isn't it? But then you've still got the beautiful submetallic luster, which Pyrite, let's face it, does so, so well. So you've still got that beautiful luster, that metallic edge coming through, but with this just delicate layer of that pink, just to enhance and, and make it very charming, actually, doesn't it? It works so successfully with the facets, I've got to admit. A hundred carats worth you've got on here, and there is graduation on this strand. It's from nine by five to eleven by seven on this. It'd be great in sorry, in vintage jewellery as well. <clears throat> it's that like vintage yeah. pink as well, I think. It really, really is. It's so dusky. Mm. It truly has got that it's almost that like Kath Kidson yeah. pink to it, isn't it? It really is that kind of bridal vintage mm. effects that you've got with this. I don't know why, but it makes me think a bit Gatsby. 
you know, kind of great Gatsby. Yeah. Sort of high shine, highly faceted, big, beautiful, bright. But then it's just got that subtlety to it. The pink's not neon, it's not in your face. It's just, as I said, it's just a kiss. It's always the blush, mm. isn't it? So 100 carats worth of this. You've also got on there your gorgeous Amazonite ovals, which I've only just realized are faceted. I'm gonna have to show you these one at a time because genuinely these are spectacular. You've got on here your Amazonites. Now what's my size on this, Scott? Can I have it up on my screen, please, my love? You swapped it for no reason? Hey, it sounded a bit like I could have been an oasis then, didn't I? No one agrees. Um, <laughs> 190 carats worth of this Amazonite here. These are your faceted ovals. 16 by 12 mil. Now, we were talking about these ones earlier, weren't we, Janet? And you said you had a whale of a time with them. They were beautiful. And when I sort of put the, the stones, the gemstones together, um, <clears throat> I sort of called it pretty in pink um, and then saw, saw those and thought, <gasps> They're just so beautiful and they go so lovely with the pink because they're that really soft blue colour. So um, it's pretty in pink and blue. No. Pink and blue <laughs> yeah. just go fantastically together though, don't amazing, they? Amazing, amazing. I always, always think that because it is kind of that baby pink and the baby blue colour. Apparently, did you know this? Apparently, back in the day, because you know now blue represents boys, doesn't it? And pink represents girls. Apparently it used to be the other way around. Oh, right. Yeah, apparently, only about 100 years ago or so. Mm -hmm. If you were planning on having a little boy, you'd paint your room pink. Facts galore today. <laughs> <laughs> this is your Amazonite, 190 carats worth. And they are faceted. Do you know what I adore about this? The body of colour is so intense. But then the facets are quite intense also. They're quite large. They're not tiny, diddy, intricate they are big their statement facet on let's face it a very statemented gemstone isn't it really i'm going to show you this final one by itself as well now i'll be totally frank with you <laughs> i'll be totally frank <laughs> I'm Becky, um, but I will be totally honest with you. I know that sometimes people question why we do um, coated gemstones. And I just before I show you this, I just want to give you a little bit of a reason why. One of the reasons we coat a gemstone is we are not hiding anything at all. And this gemstone will show you exactly that. We've added a coating to this gemstone in particular for two reasons. One, it's a colour that Mother Nature herself cannot offer us. So we're just adding a little bit of, um, you know, modern day know-how to give this something that Mother Nature doesn't give you. So we're beautifying the gemstone in that way so that you can have something totally different. But also in this case, the coating we've put on this, it's the type that I always describe as a watercolor coating. So you'll be able to see where the facets are, the um, coloring itself intensifies, which just draws your eye. It really does give you a beautiful, beautiful watercolor effect but just remember we're not hiding anything and you can see that completely with this because the clarity is exceptional so this is your color coated quartz 130 carats worth nine mil these are across an 18 centimeter strand now can you see what I mean about this coating? The clarity is there. We're not hiding anything. You can see, as soon as I rub my thumb behind it, you can see that the clarity is exceptional. You can also see, possibly not that great through camera, but definitely when you get it home, that the way the um, coating has gone on this, where the facets creep in, the, I always think of it, it is like a watercolor. You know when you're doing your watercolor in <clears throat> and you put it on a canvas and it kind of soaks into certain areas, doesn't it? And in some areas it's quite intense and in some areas it's just a very faint, almost stroke of, of watercolor. It's like that on the facets where these facets hit each other, the color itself is really, really gentle, which just gives it, again, another effect, a different look. So let's run through all three. You're getting 130 carats on this beautiful coloured quartz. You've got 100 carats of the pyrite graduated faceted drops. And you've got 190 carats of your faceted Amazonite as well. Would be, together for these three, £34.85. 
That's what the price would be if you were to buy these separately. That is a discount code. If you're new to us on Designer Inspiration, what we do is we get your goodies together. We're going to show you how to work with these and things to create. We're also going to give you plenty to make more afterwards, but we also give you a discount code. So this is the price that you would pay if you went and individually purchased these. OCGC97 is your discount code type. That in and you'll pay just £21.95. That's a saving and a half, isn't it? That is a serious saving for you today. That's a dramatic amount off you're getting for these three strands. But you've got to get that discount code in to get your £12.90 off. £12.90 off, you've got to get that code in before nine o'clock. So if you're you know, watching it back tonight, if, if I'm on tonight, make sure you're getting that code in as soon as you can. Make sure that right now you're not thinking to yourself, I'll wait till the end of this demo, because I know a lot of you do that. I know a lot of you will look at the jewelry and go, I do like that. Yeah, I think I'll be able to make that. I'll get the gemstones now. What I would say is please do not wait in this instance because we haven't got as many of these as we would like. £21.95. I've got the wire and the findings coming up for you in a moment <coughs> as well. Inspiration. Pretty in pink for lovely Janet herself. What gave you the inspiration for these? Well, if I'm being totally honest, the actual... Um sort of makeup of it, um, I was inspired by Alison mm -hmm. um, when she does her lovely, um, I mean she did Nelly the other day um, and some of the other pieces that she's done and she uses that um, that scroll work. Yes. Um, so I wanted to really just sort of um, use that sort of inspiration and put it into a, a shape that I love as a pendant and uh, this is what I came up with. And what is it about the teardrop shape you like so much? I don't much? know. It, I just love it as a centre point. Um, and a lot of my designs sort of centre around that shape. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. And I, I just I just think it's lovely. With it the stones is a spectacular collection. It truly is. I would quite happily see this in, you know, a boutique actually and uh, see it as a collection. I adore your charm style one as well. I love the twisting that we've got here. I was having, um, let's be honest, I was trying to pull this earlier on. I was trying to pull it out of shape um, because it is seriously sturdy. This is with 0 0.8, but you've twisted and plaited, and plaited which has given it so much strength there as well. And with your beautiful teardrop design, because you've got those intricate scrolls, but they're all together. Again, another really sturdy, a really but sturdy wearable piece. piece. Because yeah. it's sturdy, it's every day, it's wearable. You could wear this every day, but you could wear it, you know, out for a meal as well, couldn't you? Definitely. And, and you can sort of graduate, I mean, you can, you know, change the size of it. Mm. Um, so, although I think that's quite a statement piece, you could sort of, dress, not dress it down, but make it a little bit smaller and to suit yourself, really definitely agree with that so where are we going to start off with this? we're going to start with the um, teardrop pendant mm -hmm. um, so for that what I did I took some of the um, point eight and twisted it I used the I wire twister tool I have got the wire twister tool coming up for you in a moment so that's what I did I just simply one twist on the wire twister tool there we go you can't really see that there you go and then um, my my favourite um, technique <laughs> is making that that shape so it's simply just wrap there you go and decide sort of what size pendant at this stage that you're gonna you're gonna create so there so if we sort of say around this sort of size so get your shape there you go and then take um, your pliers and then what I did just sort of at the top hold that there and kink that back so you've got that shape mm -hmm. there you go and then match up the other side so that you've got your shape that you want and do exactly the same on the other side. Okay. So there we go. So there we are with our shape. And what we want to do is bring those two pieces together. So they're at the front there. So then take a piece of the point four, take quite a long piece because we're gonna use this afterwards to wrap on the top section that then attaches it to the, the necklace. Okay. So if we just wrap, if I just wrap that around there quickly, just hold it in place. And it's simply just wrap it around. It's nothing fancy. There's no weaving or anything. It's just a simple wrap to hold that in place. What I would do is perhaps spend a little time and then just make sure that that's 
Denise, let me just king that back in. Oh my words. Janet's designs are so very beautiful. Kiss kiss from the ever so wonderful Pauline in Cheshire. Thank you, Pauline. I'm glad you like them. They are gorgeous, aren't they, Pauline? They're so pretty. Are you going to have a go yourself, Pauline? Yes. Yeah. Where do you have to be on the scale of your jewellery making footsteps, your path, say? Well, I Could think I do this on, you know, day two of trying out jewellery making? Well, I don't see why not. I think, uh, as with all of, of my pieces, personally, I try to break them down into sections to simplify it, really. So it's... If you can use the wire twister tool, which anybody can, to twist the wire, if you can wrap a piece of point 0.4, which anybody can, mm -hmm. um, then there's no reason why anybody can have a go at this, really, to be honest with you. Now, which wire twister tool did you use? To I used the, uh, the handle, the handle one. That's the one. This one. That's the one. Now, why did you, why did you decide to twist this? Why did you want to use this tool to create this lot? Well, I've got the um, point 0.8. Mm. Um, and on its own, that structurally wouldn't have been strong enough for the pendant. Okay. Um, and I like the effect that twisting, the, the twisted wire that gives really. So I think the twisted element of it adds to the, the design. And it's really simple to use, isn't yeah. it? I can show you if you want me to. Yeah, go on. I yeah, do. let's do this. I just I love happen a to demo. have a little piece. Oh, you've <laughs> got one here. I'm getting ready to undo it all and no, stuff. No, no, no. Oh, we're so it's really really easy it's really simple so to now? set it up yeah okay all you do is take a piece of, of the wire that you want to um twist get the two ends together so you're taking the double length of what you think double length need. yeah okay and then slip that through one of the holes and what i tend to do is kink it back and put it through one of the there and kink it back again just so that it's not going to go anywhere i get you and then can you um can i borrow your finger no problem there you go and then if you hold that, and then it's really technical, you turn the handle. And it gives this a beautiful, symmetrical... Um, I won't go too far, because I'll trap your finger in there. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Doesn't my finger look a little bit like a very small man's muscular arm? Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't it? Ooh, um, look at that. Look at them guns. God, just, I've never noticed. I've never noticed that my finger looks so much like a muscular arm in my life. Um, you have got this gorgeous <laughs> symmetrical twist to it, haven't you? It, it's beautiful. And, and as I say, for this design, it just adds, adds, just adds something to it, really. It does give it a certain something. And, and you can easy. see, again, how, how much stronger that is because yeah. it's staying straight now. Definitely. Whereas as a singular, it wasn't. And in the next um, inspiration, we're actually going to then take that a step further and twist it again. Oh, can't wait for that. Uh, get your hands on it now though before you see exactly how we double this up in a moment. £8.45. Taz X 65 is your code on this today. Got loads of reviews on this product actually. It's one of our most popular reviews. Uh, this is from our FIFO feedback. Uh, this is is a magic tool for twisting wire together. Absolutely is. And it does it so quickly. Just what I needed, brilliant. That's from Anonymous in Grayson, Manchester. Brilliant tool and excellent price. Hours of twisting <laughs> fun. It absolutely is. Thank you very much for sending in um, your feedback on these. It is so easy to do. It's it easy to it do. And, <coughs> excuse me. And when you get it, there's not a lot of setting up. The little plastic um, ring that goes on the top, you just put the screw into there, screw that on, and it's there, it's ready for you to use. And it's done. Simple and as that. And easy, I, I take mine everywhere with me in, with my toolkit and I just chuck it in there so it gets thrown around a lot. So twist it's, away. Oh, I love to twist this. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've got our twisted wire and we've shaped it into the pendant shape. <clears throat> and then we've got these two bits now that we've folded over, these sections. So what I'm going to do, if I show you what we're aiming at, which is this, these two sections here yeah. are these two sections that we've, we've left on. I see. So if we then cut those down to, um, depending on how big you want your scrolls, I had one a little bit shorter than the other. Keep those little bits, we can use those later. And then what we're going to do is we're going to curl these to make, um, make a spiral. Uh, don't go too close to the end, because if you go too close to the end, the wires will separate. Okay, good so, so go in a little way, and you can always cut that little bit off afterwards. 
So once you've actually started, there we go. So because I've gone too close to the end, they've. So there you go. So once you've started that, you can do that with your finger. So that's one spiral there. And what I found is, what I did is I held it and turned it. Oh right, so you just turned it around so it was facing the right way. And you you, you seem to get a little bit more of a, a kink in this little section here. Yeah. And it just looks, um, just gives it a little bit more detail. So that we're going to wrap to that little section there. Okay. And then we do the same on the other side. If I do that pretty quickly. There we go. And that means that the spirals are going in the right direction for them to be anchored on to the main frame as yes. well, doesn't it? Yeah. But you can do it in whatever whatever way you want really. Mm -hmm. So we've got that one there. So now we'll have one there and one there. Beautiful. So that's the start of it. There we go. And then what we need to do now is create lots of other spirals that we're going to fit in. If I turn it that way, perhaps you can see it a little bit better. And what I, d I did, um, I sort of fitted them around and that's the sort of design that I'm going to I'm going to go for with this one. But you can do whatever you want. So they're not all the same scrolls. You've <coughs> got a little moustache here. Yes. Haven't you? Now that little moustache shape is where <laughs> No, don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do with that, we're going to actually drop the gemstones into there. Oh, I see. So they're going to sit so you're using this almost like a little bed. Yes, a little cradle for them. A little cradle, that's yep. it, I see, fab. So I'll show you how to do that one. I'll use a little bit of wire we've just twisted. And that's why you said keep your leftover bits because yep. there'll be other scrolls now. Yeah, and we can use those little bits that we've cut off to make the chain as well, because we did little scrolls on the chain. Oh yeah, brilliant. So uh, to make this little cradle um, section, you just do exactly the same, wrap that around, Make your little loop, and then if you just hold it and run your finger along it, you get that little bit of a bend in it. And then you need to decide sort of where, where on the frame you want your little bend. So it is just bending the wire, deciding where that's going to go, and then estimating where you need to cut for your next little bit. And twist that round. But it's that, it's that simple really. Now can I just ask you, yeah, because this is 0 0.8 but you've doubled it over, yeah. is that a lot harder now to shape and work with because the strength is doubled or has it still got some malleability still to Still got the malleability there. Okay. Um, you, you have to give it a little bit more force um, because it's twisted yeah. but it's not, not difficult. It's not difficult so anybody really could, could do that. Okay brilliant. Um, and that is what's going to sort of sit in there. So it's really just manipulating that shape so that it fits into to your design. Wonderful. Right? So all, we, all I did then is created lots of them, decided where, where I was going to have my little bits, yeah. and then started wrapping them, wrapping them on. And to do that, you just take a piece of the point four, and then just wrap it on. So just hold hold that in place so you know where you're going to be going and simply wrap that around and I did maybe three or four wraps on each one there we go three or four wraps on each one and then when you've actually done that go around the frame a couple of times as well and that will just secure it in place so when we're over to that side then go around the frame okay because that just helps then to secure that in place and then what I would do as well is do that on the other side. Just giving it that strength there. Just to give it that extra strength. Because they're the same colour as well, I love how much they meld into each other so beautifully. And that's the thing, because it's the same colour, you know, you um, hide a multitude of sins really. So if your wire work's not that particularly neat, it doesn't really matter because the twisted as well sort of hides, hides any um, untidiness. It really does. Now, whilst you're wrapping on some more of those shapes with the 0 0.4, I'm going to give you the opportunity to own the 0 0.4 and the 0 0.8 and the findings pack. Now, this is in the beautiful pink colour. If you were lucky enough on our birthday day to get your hands on that lavender wire, then how gorgeous would this colour look with it? I could definitely imagine a bit of that lilac with this wire. It's absolutely stunning. Now, these, honestly, in fact, let's just give you a heads up, shall we? 
The price on this is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy low. I mean, we're pretty much giving it away crazy low. The reason it's so low is because I do not have as many of these as we would like. I've only got a hundred, which might sound like a lot for but designer information, it is most certainly is not. The price is gonna be so crazy on this, you're gonna to have to be quick. Just get yourself on the phone now if you would be happy to pay that for it. So you've got the 0.8, the 0.4, and you've got the silver findings pack, which will come in the organza bag. So this organza bag is the silver colored findings pack. You've got 115 pieces in there. Well, 114 if you think of it. You've got a meter's worth of chain and then 114 findings, including but not limited to your flat based head pins, your beautiful cord ends, your feather weight head pins as well. Loads and loads of goodies in there, including the jump rings with the twist. The findings pack itself is normally £7.95. Bear that in mind. It's not £15.85 today. How would you feel about two quid off? I'd feel about way more. Your price today is just £11.95. You're getting the findings pack for £7.95. So for four pounds extra, <laughs> you are getting your two wires. So essentially, for 10 meters of 0 0.8, two pounds. For 10 meters of 0 0.4, two pounds. With your findings pack. That is such a wonderful deal. Hello everyone who's getting their hands on this. I know, I know. It's an amazing price. And what I will say is, if you haven't yet delved into the realm of your coloured pink wire, now's definitely your chance, isn't it? It truly, truly is your chance to get your hands on it now because you've got such a small amount here. You've got 20 metres, which you're going to be able to make loads of pieces with. But if you just want to try it out, that's fine because you've still got the findings pack. So essentially, you're only spending £4 on the actual wire. So you might love it already but you might just wanna give it a try. For four pounds, this is your chance to give it a try. You've got your um, wonderful structural with the 0 0.8, and you've got your weaving with the 0 0.4. You're done, you're dusting, finding pack. Half of my stock though has been allocated already. What I will say is if it's in your, A, hey, Ben, look who's back. Pat in Menorca's back, hiya Pat. Do you enjoy the birthday, did you? Wonderful Ben gave Pat and Menorca a little shout out, didn't you Ben? It was lovely, it was an emotional moment for us all I think. And she's checked out a basket, thanks Pat. What I will say is everyone check out your baskets for me. We've had a lot of people, we're really busy all day. And just give it a go for this price. Buy your findings pack for 10 metres each of wire, it's just two pounds. It's a stunning deal, it truly, truly is. Just give it a go today. And I also love you can create this look but you could also mix this with any other coloured wire definitely. what about if you did the scrolls in this pink colour and then the outside and take a silver or something definitely yeah and it just gives it a, it'll give it a completely different look it really does and I'm not a pink person I'm not really a pinky a girly girl no um, but this pink is so beautiful it's not that bright shocking pink it's no. a really soft it's really lovely so you, like you said you know if people are thinking about trying some coloured wire then this is the one to go for it really is Beautiful. when you're getting it for two pounds a reel definitely it's worth having a go isn't it i'm gonna have to um keep you checking out on that one because i've got i've got over 60 percent of my stock gone people are still on the phones for it do stay where you are it's a cracking saving for you today and the gemstones are at the bottom of the screen 12 pounds some are saving on those ones right so what i've done is i've just i've just tied these little sections in yeah um, and this little section at the bottom and I will continue doing that until we've got something that looks similar to that or you know your own combination of, um, of, of scrolls. scrolls that's the word um, so what we we'll do then is we'll move on to this one because this one is already sort of ready and what I would say is when you wrap them on leave the, the um, point 0.4 wire sort of just leave it there because we'll need that afterwards to uh, wrap in the gemstones okay Mm -hmm. So when we get to that section, 
Um, what we can do next is we, we can do the top scroll, which is actually going to be the piece that actually holds it onto the neck, the neckline. And to do that, we do that in exactly the same way that we did this little cup section. But instead of making it as a cup section, we just put the put the pliers in there and get a sort of a, a sharp V shape. And then that will sit on the top section there. Okay. So to do that, these little bits of wire that I've got left over, we can use one of those. I'll turn that over. Use one of those for that. So, and the other thing is as well, if because it's got the twist on it, you can actually just sort of twist the wire down, and it sort of sits in between. I see where the twists. Where the twists are. So, mm -hmm. if you want to move from here and wrap here, uh, instead of cutting off and starting again, you can simply then just do that. Just sort of wrap that around and down, and you can't really see that. No. It sort of hides it in there. Again, that's another good tip for beginners because at first you might be a little bit worried about adding on for yeah. the first time or what yeah. if it comes undone. You don't have to worry with that You don't that have to worry. Do no. no. And that's why I say leave on as many of the 0.4 pieces that you can um, because you could use them for that, for that purpose mm. really. So what we do is we've, we've done that section. So that is now on. If we turn that over, if I do this, this section here quickly, we can get on to adding, adding the gemstones in. There, so wrap that around. Remember what your favourite gemstone is, Janet? It's been so long. When's the last time we worked together? Gosh, it's been ages. Hasn't it? Genuinely, ages and ages. been ages and ages. What is your favourite gemstone? Reminds me. Well, it's it's, it's sort of fluctuates, but amethyst is always there. Mm -hmm. Amethyst is always in there, uh, and pearl as well. But that's because it's my birthstone, so I do love pearl. So you do love pearl. Amethyst, yeah. Well, amethyst is your challenge. That's coming yes, up in a bit. that was um, nice fortunate. Treat. Definitely, definitely. Isn't so it funny that my director, Ben, remembered what your gemstone was? He was like, uh, it? John, it's his amethyst, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've added that on, uh, that scroll section to the top, uh, and that's where we're going to be, um, we'll extend the necklace from there. So now we can start adding in the, um, the gemstones. Right, so if we just select three of the stones, and that's another thing, once you've made your little cup section here, yeah. uh, and you're figuring out where they're gonna go, your, your scrolls are gonna go, if you can put something across the middle section, and that is where we can actually wrap on the three, three stones there. So they're gonna sit in that sort of formation. Okay, I see. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of point 0.4. I didn't leave a piece at the bottom, which I've just told everybody to do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> but if you do cut them off or you do run out, don't worry about it. Just take another piece, um, wrap that on. Just wrap it around a couple of times and around the frame once maybe just to secure that. There we go. And then take one of the stones drop that in place and what we're going to do is attach it if I lift that up a little bit there. yeah what I'm going to do is attach it to this little loop here okay just so that that's so that's going to go through there so I was gonna just go keeping it in place so that'll hold that into place so put that in it's a bit fiddly with all these little bits of wire around but there you go so if we hold that in place there turn it over and then just wrap around that little section there just to secure it. There we go. I see. And then what we can do is go back down with the wire. So you're going at the back? I'm going across the back yeah. section now. And then what that will do, there we go. So now we've got another section, we've got the other piece of wire now. We've come down at the back. There you go, I'll show you there. I can see. So we've gone so up to the front. Keeping it cushioned. Yeah, wrapped around, down at the back, and now the wire is here now at the bottom, ready for the next for the next stone. So if we just wrap that around a little little way as we did earlier to get to this point up here, so we can start wrap on the next. If I can see where I'm going, I need to make an appointment have my eyes tested again. Why? Is your eyesight going? Yeah. 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 Have you ever thought about getting laser? No, no, I couldn't do that. My mum had like laser eye surgery, but her eyesight was so bad that they said if they did both of her eyes, 
she would automatically go the other way. So she had to wear glasses for driving. Yeah. And they said if they lasered both her eyes, she would have to um, wear glasses for reading. So they said, let's just do one of your eyes. Right. So she uses one of her eyes to drive and then another of her eyes to read. Oh, wow. She was walking around like a, a bit of a drunken pirate for days because, you know, it yeah, messes up weird. your balance, doesn't it? But yeah, she does. And she copes okay with that? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's been about 15 years with it now. Oh wow. One eye pam, I call her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I call her mum. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> there you go. So um, I've brought the wire up to this little section here and we've gone through the next stone and I'll wrap that around a few times just to secure that. And what we're actually going to do, we're going to actually frame these three. So, um, so don't worry too much about them. There you go. And you can bring that down at the back again and wrap that around just to just to secure it. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Let's use those. There. So what I would do then is just wrap that around there, that little section a few times. Mm-hmm. There we go. Whoops. That's how you know you've made a lot of jewellery, I think. Okay. When your fingers start to annoy you, so you just get the pliers out to do it. Yeah. And that's amazing. That goes to show you make a lot of jewellery. Yeah, your fingers sort of say, that's enough now. Yeah. Stop. And then your round noses just work it. Yeah. Mm. And then um, snip that off, because we're not going to be needing that anymore. Okay. And then uh, if I just quickly do the next, drop the next one in. Yeah, go ahead. Is that okay? Are you dropping it in, in the same way? Exactly the same way, just on the opposite side. How's about a little bit of a bargain for you then? Because we have had so many people getting their hands on this pink wire. And genuinely, what I need to say to you is you, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, probably about 20, if I'm honest. Uh, 20 of you, when you check out, we will have last chance saloon amount. So, you know, I don't name and shame, but all of you with it in your baskets, please check out for me. And you might want to add a little something extra. So what I would say is that one there was maybe for people who just wanted to give themselves a little bit of go with just two gauges of pink. The 0 0.8 and the 0 0.4, quite popular ones, maybe use them as accents. This one is for if you know you love the pink wire, if you want to make loads of different pieces with the pink wire, you want something really structural, you want really great mixes, you want findings galore, then this is going to be the one for you because I've got gauges for it all. I've got your structural pink one mil, 10 meters worth of this. I have also got your beautiful, happy for findings 0 0.6, 10 meters worth of this. And you've got your great for rings, 0 0.8. So you've got something for everything here, especially if you've already got that pink, you had the 0 0.4. So you have got enough to weave pendants, you have got enough to um, encase cabs, You've got enough here to make rings, findings, neck pieces, head pieces. It's your trio, 30 meters in total, pink wire the price. Should be 13.85, but you know I don't like 13. It's unlucky for some. It's not unlucky for us today though, because that means we have to take the price down. How do you feel about under 10 pounds, your price today? 9 pounds and 95 pence for 30 meters worth of this. Discuss. That is amazing. That for the for the one, for the one mil, the point eight and the point six. That is, I wish I was at home. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it that is. That is so stunning because you've got something for everything here, haven't you? Definitely. And if you like this design, but you don't particularly like the twisted effect, um, then use the one mil. Or use the one mil and have like a plain plain effect. Do it in exactly the same way, but just have the plain plain wire. That is fan dabby dozy. And you know, we were talking about Nelly before, weren't we? We were talking about Nelly, the elephant, uh, not the rapper. Nelly, <laughs> <laughs> Nelly the elephant. He had a little um, back, I can't call it a backpack, but it's not, that. is it? <laughs> what is it? I can't remember what Alison called it. A blanket, it. I think yeah. she called it. A blanket on his back and a ceremonial headdress. And that was using some of these gauges, wasn't it? And we did that one in green, but we were saying, because you could unattach them, what about doing a little pink one? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be a gorgeous sort of thing? Like, yeah, they'd be gorgeous. What a real treat. Nine pounds and 95 pence for 30 meters worth. Get your hands on it whilst you can. E.T. 
Oh no! Oh no! I used to have uh, when I was at primary school. I used to go out with a boy whose initials were ET, and I used to walk around with I heart ET on my hand. People used to be like, "Oh, she loves aliens." It was a sad time. <laughs> ET GC ninety two. Our phone lines have gone crazy, crazy. Um, everyone is getting their hands on this today. Keep checking out your baskets, guys. Honestly, Patty and Menorca is loving the pink today. I've got Peter, Sue, Rosalyn. Willow, Willow, I always say this, but I love your name. Um, Susan, I've got loads of you getting this today. A little bit of a wait on the phone lines, but it's gonna be worth it. 30 meters, nine pounds and 95 pence for you today. You've you've added that on, you've wrapped that on. I've add, added the, the three um, stones in there. Brilliant. Um, but I thought they looked a bit sort of flimsy and a bit sort of out there on the road. Okay. So what I did is I framed them I made a little frame out of the um, the point eight, the twisted section again. Hmm. Uh, what I did is I just made a really long length of the um, the twisted point eight, and then just cut off what I wanted. Good. So this is a little frame that's going to sit around those, and that is made simply by just again just freehand, sort of wrap it around, decide where. Like you said, it, it is still really malleable, even though you've twisted it. Yeah. So just find a section that's going to fit there, and then simply turn it around, make your next little section there, and wrap it back on itself. You can sort of shape it up a bit afterwards. It's a bit big, so just make it a little bit smaller. There you go. So there. So And I just continue doing that. Uh, until I'd got a, a frame of this this sort of shape, and then what I did, I just wrapped it here and here, just so that it's not going to come un, untangled. Okay. And then that sits on the top. I do it that way. Sits on the top of of those stones, and that sort of frames them and sets them in place. And then all I did was wrap that to the frame behind the stones. So take a piece of the wire, left on the wire, and then just attach that to the frame. So through the frame, back up through the little frame we've just created, and back through again, just to make sure that that side is secure. Turn it around, and go through that side. Okay. I'll, I'll just do it quickly so that it's not gonna fall off. So again, this bit doesn't have to be particularly neat. You can make it if you want it to be, but because it melds in quite well, if you are a beginner and it's not neat, you yeah probably only you who will notice yes yeah and like I say because it's it, the twisted effect as well that sort of hides lots of lots of things mm -hmm, there we go if I take that back underneath there. the other good thing about it is if you get a little kink in it if you just run your nail across it it, it, it'll, it will take it out the wire is fabulous it is fabulous isn't it, it is gorgeous and then just tuck it under there yeah and wrap that on and what I would do is I would just spend some time wrapping that just to make sure that that's, that's secure. Okay. Um, I'll just do it one more time just so that we know it's not going to fly off. So Fab. there. That's so that's fun. it in, in place. Yeah. But I would sort of wrap it at this section here as well and maybe in the middle a little bit more just to pull it, pull it in and um, fix it in place. But for now, that's, that's roughly what you do. And then all you need to do there is... Don't cut that one off because we're going to need that. <laughs> Get scissor happy there so that's the section that we've got there lovely so now what we're going to do is start dropping in um the pyrite now to i love do how you drop that, the pyrite in here i said to you earlier didn't i you've left some proud you've laced some down it's really nice mix i did think it just um it's nice just to sort of mix it up a bit and yeah. have a bit of, bit of difference so what i did then is i decided um or you can just decide where you're going to drop in stones sort of size them out yeah so we could put one in here drop one in there maybe um, and you could drop drop on sort of like you say center down yeah. in that one which we'll do that afterwards you can put one in the top there so then it's just deciding where you want to drop them into okay when you've done that take one of the sections this one has still got its, its piece of um, tail its little tail on there so wrap that back up through so we've got that to work with there we go We've got that piece to work with. Drop that stone on. There we go. 
drop it in place. Let's have a look. There. So we're going to drop that into place just there. And so see. then wrap around the next, the spiral opposite to it. And now we start weaving, sort of weave in and out of this one. So go round that section, back up through the frame, and what we're going to do is go over the top of the pie rise. So we go over the top there, yeah, and into there. Okay. And round that frame. So go round that frame once, and pull that down, and then go behind the pie rise. Right. And what you'll do, you'll capture that then in between the two sections of wire. I see, so it's keeping it sturdy. So it'll keep it in place. So that's back through there. So wrap around there, then come up and over the front again, because we did the back last time. So across the front and then around the frame once and then the back. Okay. And then you just keep doing that as many times as you want to keep it until you think that until you know that that's secure and and you're happy with it. So what you do then is you repeat that really um, for all of the, the positions that you want on the gemstone. I'll just do one more. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah, go on. There you go. Just so it doesn't pop out. So there you go. So you do that and wrap that as many times as you want to down the stone just to make sure that it's it's secure. Then you can snip that off then and tuck in the pieces that you've got. So there is your one, <coughs> excuse me, there is your one stone Fab. sitting in place there. And then you'll just repeat that and drop, drop them in wherever you want to. Okay, okay? beautiful. So, um, shall I show you how we did one sort of facing down? Yeah, let's do that because I really like that. Can you see on this one, they're not all laid down. There's one that's quite obviously proud. I just think it adds a totally different dimension see this one here you see how it's sitting upwards which means you get that base um, facet which a lot of the time can be forgotten if you're just using them as drops so it's beautiful to be able to see it because it just catches the eye yes. as it moves yeah. the glint catches it's fab so what you need to do for that is take one of your um, scrolls that you've done cut out the center section so okay. you've got a bigger bigger hole in the section there in the in the center there if you yeah. can see that and then that's gonna sit in in like that so it sits I like see. that. I yeah. So um, we've got a piece of the point four here. So take it at the back, put your stone through, and actually, let me do it the other way. I'm just trying to think now. <laughs> there we go. That's probably the easiest way. I'm not going to be able to put that through now, am I? Should have got it ready, really. No. There we go. So you thread that through, through the stone. So you're dropping that in, and through the, through the point there, and then pull that through. There. There. And then all you do, simply wrap that around the frame. That's fab, isn't it? I mean, I, I did that because I'd got that wire there, but the easiest way to do it is probably. Uh, poke that through and then just put a piece straight through it and you can use both ends then to attach to it to them. Yeah. I love that little bit of difference. Just think is it a little bit of a zhuzh? Yes. And um, and that's it. So what you would do then is I'd spend some time wrapping that and do the you know, do the same on the other side so that that's, that's gonna sit nice and proud. Sit in there. That looks gorgeous. I love, I love, I love, I love. So what you would do is um, Continue and do and add all the stones that you want to add. Yeah. Then when you've done all that, cut off all your little little sections. Spare I'll cut part. them off now, just so that. And what I will say is, when you've cut them off, just spend a little bit of time going round with your flat nose pliers, just to make sure that all the little um, the little sharp ends are, are tucked in. What I will say, as Go we're saying then. things, is designer inspiration, pretty in pink. The price isn't on screen, £21.95. That's the gemstones that we had with this. So it's the Amazonite, 190 carats worth. You also have the pyrite as well, the pink pyrite that we've used. And you've got the clear quartz as well, the faceted rounds. Over £12 you're making a saving on that. 
at the base of the line uh, of the screen is our wire and findings. £7.95 it was for the findings. You get 20 metres of wire for four quid extra. Jacqueline in Alicante. Hey, hey, hey. Where is Alicante? Where is Spain? Oh, good. Wait, was mine kind of Mexican? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> was it? I was trying to be Spanish. What do they say in Spain? Paella. Yeah? <laughs> si, senorita. Oh, la quinta, por favor. What does that mean? I'll have the bill, please. <laughs> um, hello, girls. Loving the show. I am desperately trying to copy the pendant. Having great fun. Chasing the wire all over the room. But it is coming together. Oh, Good. Jacqueline, fab. Send us a picture, please, once you're finished. Get us a picture sent in, please. Right. I love the idea of her in Alicante <laughs> just running around this after this wire. I love it. <laughs> So that essentially, once you've added in all your little bits, that's the pendant mm -hmm. completed. Um, so I've got time just to show the little the necklace you section. You absolutely have. You've got around seven minutes. Oh, lovely. is that enough time? Oh, definitely. All right, cool. So what I did then is I made a few more of the spirals, um, and and then added those to make the um, the chain, as you can see there, and just yeah. link them together with the. Um, the blue stones and to do that all I did I made the spirals in exactly the same way that we made earlier and then just took a piece of the um, point eight mm -hmm. made a little loop on the end you can do wrap loops with them but because it's the point eight personally I think that it's it's sturdy enough so just make a little eye loop there yes actually I would say again make it a bit bigger <laughs> <laughs> because you've um, we've spiraled these yeah. um, wrap the wire it will actually be a bit thicker. So make a little pin there, a bit bigger than, than I just did. Okay, so maybe use the base to around those. Yes, yeah. So slip on um, the stone, and I, I do with kinking it back, whoops, and then just sort of snip off where you think you're gonna need it. But then, but that all comes with practice, sort of judgment and knowing where you're gonna be needing them. So there, you've got another one there. And then all you do is, did I put one of these first? Yes, I did, didn't I? There. Was that rhetorical? Sorry? Was that a rhetorical question? Was it? Yes, probably. Yeah, yeah. Were you I just, just asking yourself? Myself, yeah. Oh, that's all right. Did I, Janet? Did you? Sign of intelligence, you know? apparently, talking to yourself. Is it? That's why I like to think. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fact. It's not a fact. <laughs> Where's the graphics gone? Swapping around. Coming up for you on the screen now is the wire trio. I've got handfuls of these left, that's it, 9.95. For these three, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and your 0 0.1. No, you're one, Mill. 9.95. 0 0.1 would be tiny, wouldn't it? 168. So what I did, I made six of those. So we've got three on one side and three on the other. Um, and then I made um, one, two, six of those, the little spirals as well. Yes. Um, so then I just opened the loop, added it to the, the spiral on the, on the um, pendant piece, and that just continued doing that really, just added them, just opened, opened them and added them. If I've made that one big enough now. What you say? Doing it again, talking to myself. That's all right, it's not a problem. There we go. So that's what we did there, and we just then repeated that all the way along the neckline uh, until we got to the top and then we just made those little figure of eight chain just to finish it off really. I really like this chain design. Do you want me to show you how we did that? Have we got time for that? Yeah, we have. Well, you've got a good four minutes. Oh, yeah. What I really like about this chain, which you might not be able to get that great on camera, is it's not just a figure of eight, it's... Twisted. Twisted. It's we, fab. We really went to town with the twisting. <laughs> we went to town. <laughs> Can you see how you've got a flat section and then an upward section? And I made the little clasp out of one of the spirals. Oh, I love so that. So we, we made another scroll and just cut it short a little way. So you've got a hook on one end and the, the spiral on the other end. I love that. And you've got it extendable because you've used this yes. form as well. Yeah. Fab, so how do we do these? So to do that, with the point eight, just take a section of the point eight. And um, what I did is use the the base of the um, pliers, the thickest end of the pliers, just do one loop, so you've got a loop there, put them back in, sitting next to, to that loop, yeah, and go round and take it around so you've got that figure about there. 
oops, sorry, there, there you go. So then all you do is take your pliers and snip. So you've got one there. There you go. And then all I did, what I did as well then, once I'd made a few of them, I got my wire whacker. Gosh, I my wire whacker now. And gave them all a good whack. Good. And then if you hold um, one side sort of almost in the centre, yeah. and then take uh, another pair of flat nose pliers and hold it next to them. So there's a little gap in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then do that. There you go. You get a twisted, twisted link. That's wonderful. And then all I did is made um, lots and lots of those, linked them together, uh, and that's we came with that chain. And that's exactly how you create this extendable chain all by yourself. Do you see what I mean with the twisting? Yeah. It makes it, it just gives it a totally different effect, doesn't it? And it makes it quite, um, it actually makes the chains, the links sit nicer. Because yes. sometimes if you were to have them all next to each, you get a bit of a bunchy patch or yes. a patch that doesn't yeah. quite sit straight, don't you? And that is exactly how you create this truly inspirational Janet Dwyer piece today. It is so wonderful. We've had loads and loads of positive comments about this today. And we've also had people asking about wire twisting. Now we showed you the tool that we used earlier this one now this is your six inch wire twister because we've had other people messaging about this now this one is different from the circular one that i brought to you earlier on because this one that i have here as you can see in there you've got five areas which means you can only really wrap five different wires with this with your six inch you can get in as many as you can get in the jaws and in fact if you really want to you can even stick those together and then you could even do up to you know 9 10 11 if you glued them or stuck them together with a bit of masking tape or something at the end they are so easy to use they truly truly are the arms you simply squeeze together and one of them will come out you then pull back the dotted piece of metal that's just here and that will, once you've opened the jaws and that will lock in your wire into place. And then just using the twist at the base, you pull it out, the whole thing will twist, your wire will twist with it. It's really simple. You can do really long lengths with this really quickly. Six inch wire twisting pliers, your price is 14 pounds and 95 pence. TX, ZX. 73 is the code on this. Do not forget, I've got wonderful Janet with me all afternoon. Lucky, lucky us. And that means that you can message the, you can message us in whenever you want to. Have you used these ones before? I haven't, no. 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 That's all right. But, but I mean, they are really good. And you can do thicker gauges of wire with them. Mm. Uh, whereas the, the other one, I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't go past a one mil. Um, because it, you know, but with that you could do a, a 1.25, 1.50, so you could really, um, you know, really make some chunky, chunky twists with them. Yeah. So really useful in that way. It is really very useful. A few text massages. Here's my first one. This is Christine in Nottinghamshire. Hello, Christine. Hi, Becky and Janet. Thanks, Janet, for a great demo. I well. think I can give it a try. Wire work is beautiful, but I'm hopeless at it. I never like uh, my end result and feel I've wasted too much wire. Oh, love to all from Christine. What would your tip be for that? I think just, just keep going, you know, um, and even though you're not happy with it, I'm my own worst critic. You know, I agree. Uh, show it to somebody else. Show it to somebody whose opinion you trust, and you know they'll give you an honest opinion. And and whatever you make, there's no wrong and right way of doing anything, really. No. So however it turns out, it's a unique piece to you. So you know, uh, but I think if you're going to be selling your pieces, don't don't be as hard on yourself as uh, as you are, really. Definitely. And I would definitely, Christine, give this a go because yeah. so long as you can do a scroll, it doesn't even have to be even, and then you can just weave it together. It's absolutely fine. Give it a go. So thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. I will be back with you. I'm going to give you a sneaky peek. Ooh, second designer inspiration coming up after the break. I have so many goodies, including a special guest to tell us a little bit more about our wonderful Dremel. I will see you and Janet 
after this very, very short break. Stay exactly where you are.